After I took on the management of so many of Liyue's affairs, I had a newfound respect for Rex Lapis and all his hard work over the last millennium. Recently, every time I come up against a difficult problem with no obvious solution, I find myself thinking, what would Rex Lapis do? Maybe he really is an expert in everything, and I've got more left to learn than I realized. I used to be so naive. I genuinely believed I was on par with Rex Lapis. Seems I really overestimated myself. Hmm? Yes. You're right. I have plenty of self-confidence in other areas, so why not in this? I can catch up with him. I will catch up with him. I just need to keep my chin up, keep trying, and keep learning. Oh, so... Rex Lapis wanted me to have power beyond the average mortals so that I can be a great leader? Huh. I like to think I'd do an admirable job even without his blessing. Yeah. I'll show him. I won't give him any reason to be disappointed with me. What do you mean, Geo Archon paraphernalia? You're not suggesting my bedroom is full of that stuff, surely? I'm not a child anymore. Although... Okay, I did buy a couple of Rex Lapis figurines recently, but... But they're just to keep me on the straight and narrow. Look, just because I own an idol or two does not mean I idolize him, okay? Since Rex Lapis left us, we've actually found some common ground. I was quite judgmental of her in the past, and we still fundamentally disagree on a number of issues. But in the current climate... I have to say I count her as a comrade in arms. <laughs> Having said that, I ordered a Lucent Crescent from Mingxing Jewelry three months in advance, and when it was finally time to pick it up, they told me Ningguang had bought up the last few months' worth of Lucent Crescents for herself by paying double the price. <sighs> she can be such a pain. I feel like now that we live in the Age of Mankind's Rule, it's time for the legendary boy Adeptus to be released from duty. We no longer need a defender of that kind, because we are capable of working through the challenges we face on our own strength. I find myself getting a second opinion from her a lot these days. Lots of things come up that I just have no idea about. And of everyone in Liyue, she's probably the most familiar with Rex Lapis. <laughs> I feel a bit awkward, though, because I used to be openly disparaging of Rex Lapis in front of her. But she doesn't seem to mind, so I guess I've got nothing to worry about. Since Rex Lapis left us, the question of Li Yue's future has been on my mind constantly. In addition to reviewing his own past deeds, I've been researching the other Archon's modes of governance, too. Mondstadt's god is the one who baffles me the most, though. How exactly do any of his actions contribute to the longevity of Mondstadt? It's completely beyond me. The time has come for humanity to make its mark in the land of the Geo Archon. Turns out that was quite an ambitious statement after all. But I want you to make me a promise. Come and visit when the new Liyue Harbor is born. I will show you around. After all the help and support you've given me along the way, you deserve to see Liyue reborn with your own eyes. I owe you that much.